the Newbury Arts Prize podcast, recorded on the 7th of June, 2020. Wow. That's the first word that springs to mind, is what an extraordinary time. It is, for many, the first time they have experienced absolute isolation and solitude. And time for reflection. And as I speak to you from the Grove House in Bridport, there is there's a thought that the team behind the Newbury Arts Prize has, has been having recently. And that is the fact that there is a significant difference between being alone and being lonely. And as I've said before recently, and I speak on behalf of the team, we all sincerely hope that none of you feel lonely during these dark times. And even though we've been experiencing here in the UK some wonderful summer weather, it is a dark moment for many of us. We're very fortunate down here in the West Country that we are close to the coast and open fields and in Newbury country. This is where Newbury enjoyed his time, where he was able to escape, but not only escape, but to enjoy and to embrace the occasional solitude and isolation. And indeed, that is why he campaigned tirelessly for artists from all over Europe to come and experience it. Which brings me on to the fact that when Newbury lived in Bridport, uh, the population of the planet was approximately 1.8 billion people. Now, as I talk to you, standing on the same staircase and walking around the same rooms as Newbury did over a hundred years ago, I find that the population of the world has its numbers reversed. There are in fact over 8.1 billion people, which is extraordinary in such a short amount of time for the population to to expand so much and for man's achievements to have positively exploded. But more importantly, or more importantly to the cause, is the fact that man has developed an achievement and a way of capturing the progression. It's only been since the birth of modern communications that we have been able to significantly record all of man's achievements. Social media, the telephone, the mobile phone, the fax machine, the computer, the internet, even electricity itself wasn't commonly used when Newbury was alive. And yet he was able to reach out through tirelessly writing letters and the occasional personal advertisement. He was able to reach out to artists and art societies and spread the word that by educating other artists, they were able to capture all of these achievements of, of mankind. And it brings me back to the subject of the day, isolation. And in fact, the, 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 the fact that most of the greatest masterpieces from the last five centuries were initially created, or it is documented, that, it was, that they were initially created when the artist was in isolation, was experiencing that solitude and that time for reflection. So it is 
something to embrace, we believe, not something to be scared of, cautious of, yes, because of the reason we find ourselves in isolation. But the inspiration that can be gained from looking at a blank canvas, or in fact, it's an uncluttered canvas, the the people not being on the streets, the cars not being on the roads, the quietness, the peace and the calm can only contribute to being able to see the world around us without being cluttered by others. And it is just an extraordinary opportunity, neither negative nor positive, it is just an opportunity. And so we enthuse and we encourage all artists, all sculptors, all designers, all architects to embrace this moment, this extraordinary time in our, in our, in our lives. And when you have found that inspiration, apply it, enter the Newbury Arts Prize, the entries, they're open. The floor is yours. Good luck. From the base here, in the depths of the Dorset countryside, we have created a little gallery of inspiration of past masterpieces and past master designs. You'll find the video on YouTube uh, titled Isolated Inspiration. And we hope you enjoy. We hope it inspires you. And there's one other thing that I'd like to say before closing off, and that is stay well and stay safe. <laughs>